In this video, I would like to mess around with some concatenation. I already have set up in here my scanner. I've asked the user to enter some text, and I've grabbed it from them and saved it in a variable called text that I'm going to use when I um, do some, some little manipulating with the string. So I'm going to make myself a function down here, um, and it's going to create a new string for me. So its return type is actually going to be string. And let's call this every other. And it's going to take in as parameter the string, um, and I'm going to send it whatever the user typed in as my parameter. And inside here, I'm going to build a new string that's made of only parts of the original um, text that the user entered. So in order to do that, I need to make myself a new string to work with. So let's call this S. Um, and I need to initialize it so that it is an empty string so that I can add to it or concatenate onto it. And so I do that by putting some quotation marks directly next to each other. And I'm going to iterate or loop over my original string. So I'm going to go from the first index position, which is 0. And I'm going to go up to, but not including, the text.length. And what I would like this function to do is take every other letter from the string and concatenate that onto my new string. So in order to get every other letter, I'm just going to count by twos. So I'm going to take my loop control variable and increment it uh, by two. All right, so now I'm in my for loop. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab out a piece of the text using substring. And I want one letter at a time. So I'm going to go i, comma i plus 1. That's always how you get one letter. And then instead of printing this, I'm going to concatenate it onto my new string s. And to do that, all I have to do is pretend just like it's a number and just say s plus equals. Just like if I were adding numbers and I had a sum and I was going to say like total plus equals, whatever the current number is, I can work with strings sort of the same way. Instead of technically adding mathematically, it's going to just tack it onto the right hand side. When my loop is finished, then I'm going to return the resulting string, which is s. That's where my new stuff is saved. So I've lost every other letter of what was originally in here. Okay. Since this function has return type string, I have two options in main when I call it. I either have to save it in a variable, what comes back, or I have to print it directly. So if I saved it in a variable, let's just call it result, then when I call this guy every other, oops, and I pass it my original text, it's going to zip down here, do all this stuff, send the answer back, and now the answer is saved in this thing called result. And then I can just print it out and see what's in there. So let's do that. All right, run this sucker. OK. I hope my dogs don't bark. All right, so we should, when it goes to the function, lose every other letter off of this. Let's see if that happens. Yes, so I got the I, skip the space, I got the H, skip the O, got the P, skip the E, got the space, skip the M, so yes indeed I got every other letter. Okay, so that is one option when I have a value returning function. The other option is that if it's just something I want to check on, I don't have to even save it into a variable, I can just straight out put this inside of my print statement. And that means that I can get rid of this extra variable entirely. And you will see when we run this that we will get the same exact thing. Okay, I can't believe they are not barking, because I really can't believe it. All right, so I've lost every other letter. So this is how you do some concatenation. The main rules are you need to make yourself an extra little string that you're going to build onto. Do whatever you want in here, and then return the result. And if I'm returning a result, then I have to either catch it or print it directly up in main.